everyone, this is Teresa Jackson. Today I'm going to show you how to create a custom hairbrush, or maybe I should say a brush for painting hair in Adobe Fresco, and we'll use Fresco and Adobe Capture on an iPad to create the brush. We'll start in Fresco by creating a new document for the brush, and I'll tap on the template for the square document. Now we're going to paint some dots on this that will become the hair. I'm going to uh, scroll down the size of the canvas here so that we can see the entire thing. I'll use the vector brush, although a pixel brush would work just as well. And I'll use black for the color because brushes that we create for fresco can only be black or white or values of gray. And then I'm just going to put some dots in each of the corner. They don't have to be clean shaped dots, just kind of raggedy dots and different sizes too. And these will actually become the hair when we create the brush. So I just want a little bit of variety. And that looks good there. Now we need to save this out so that we can use it inside of Capture to create the brush. So I'll go to the export icon and do a quick export and save that out to my camera roll. Now we're ready to create the brush using the app Adobe Capture. I'll close out a fresco with my home screen and tap on Capture to open it. When you first open Capture, it might open directly into your camera, and I find it really confusing when it starts off in this view. To get back out of the camera, you can tap on the X in the lower right-hand corner, and that takes us back to the library view of Capture. From here, we can see the different types of um, assets that you can create with Capture. We're going to create a brush. So I'll tap on brushes here. You can see some of the other brushes that I've created using Capture inside of the library, my library, which is the default library. I created a custom library for Fresco, so I'm going to tap where it says my library and choose Fresco brushes. Now when I create the brush and save it, it will go to this Creative Cloud library. So let's start creating our brush, not by using the camera, but by using the picture that we saved from Fresco. So I'll tap on the picked icon and go to my camera roll and I'll choose those dots that I quickly exported out of Fresco. Double check on the side to make sure that you're in brushes and I am in brushes so I'll tap OK. And then we're not going to need a tail or a head for this brush so I'll open this up so the entire thing is a body. Sometimes it's hard to get a hold of that. And using two fingers, you can even scale and change the position of the dots. I like to put them a little bit at an angle. And we'll see this effect more when we change the style. So let's go to Style, and we're going to scroll down here. And what we're going to create is a close and initial direction. And then we see here that it's starting to look like hair. And you can even practice drawing with that to see what you get. That's pretty cool, huh? So these are the different angles that you could put this at. I like to use this one with initial direction. For the pressure, we want to control size, but not flow. And I want to take all of the spacing out of this. And everything from there is good. So we'll just say Save. And that'll save that to the Creative Cloud Library. And it took me back to my camera, and we're seeing the contents of my desk. Now I'll close out a capture and go back to Fresco and open a different document to try that hairbrush on. So I'll tap on the home icon that'll save the brush document that we created and then I'll open this boy cartoon and then we'll use the new brush we created to add some hair to this boy cartoon. Custom brushes are found under the pixel brushes and you have to scroll to the bottom to find your library brushes. Inside of Fresco Brushes Creative Cloud Library is we'll where we'll find the brush that we just created with Capture. So I'll choose that brush and then pick a brown color for my hair. You can paint your hair any color you want, but I'm going to use brown for this. And then I'm going to take the size way up. And you'll see as I take the size up, we can see those dots that we created for this brush. So I'm going to set this to about 250 or so. Because this is cartoony, I want nice big strokes. And then we'll just add some hair to our guy here. Because I'm using an Apple Pencil, we get the change in size from small to large. 
and as I draw these out they kind of overlap each other. So that's looking pretty cool but let's see how we can get an even better effect by changing the blend mode. So I'm going to tap on the settings here and then change the blend mode to multiply and then as I paint out we'll see how the hairs multiply over each other and we start getting this light and dark color. And if we change the blend mode to a screen, we get a highlight effect, which is really nice too. So that's looking pretty awesome, I think. You can also use this brush for realistic looking hair. I'll scroll into the corner over here and take a look at that. I'm going to make the size much smaller and just start to brush out some strokes here. Maybe zoom in a little bit further, make this a little bigger. And as I brush out these strokes with this set to screen, we see that we're getting this really realistic looking hair. If you're having a hard time controlling the strokes, see how it goes from thin to thick like that? If you don't want it to do that, you can go into the settings and in the shape dynamics, you can take the minimum diameter up so that when you press light, it's not that small. So notice when I start that stroke, it's about as wide as it can go. So I'll start light and I'll press harder and it gets slightly bigger. And as I press lighter, it gets slightly smaller. If I change that minimum diameter, going back to shape dynamics, if I change that minimum diameter to zero and I start by pressing really light and then press harder, we get a pretty cool effect too, but sometimes when you're painting hair, it's harder to control that. So there you have it. That's how easy it is to create a custom hairbrush using Fresco and Adobe Capture.